we can have an effective communication. We don't want it to call and then we begin to hear noises from your background or you call us and begin to say, am I coming out clear? If you're not, we will tell you. If we can't hear you, we will tell you we cannot hear you and probably drop the call for you to call back. So please uh, make it easier and um, interesting. Don't call us from a noisy background. Don't call us while your TV set or your radio set is still on. Don't call us and speak for more than three minutes. If you're calling us three minutes, is okay. And of course, it's something according to what we discussed here. Very, very important. So our WhatsApp line is 0905-6608-583. Our WhatsApp number once again, 0905-6608-583. Then our phone line 0702-0353706. Once again, our phone line 0702-0353706. Don't also forget to call us and also find a way to assist this program, or to support this program, and also to partner with us. We need partners to keep this place going. Don't forget that we have come to ensure that Biafra is restored. And of course, um, nothing shall stop us. Um, of course, um, there is this song we normally sing and the church say, the church is marching on and the gate of hell shall not prevail. So Biafra is marching on and uh, the gate of the zoo called Nigeria cannot prevail. It cannot prevail. Their policies, their tough policies can also not um, prevail. Rather, they are causing more harm to themselves. If because of IPOB they can you know, uh, do away with forex and other, you know, things that would have helped their economy. It's really laughable how stupid and confused they are. But we keep winning because we have come and uh, no going back on that. So it doesn't matter. So call us on WhatsApp, call us on phone, call us on Skype, call us on Facebook. Our Skype and Facebook ID is at Sunrise BTV. Very important. Let's hear from you. Okay, let's look at the, the, the last one here. Police charge journalist Abba Jalingo with terrorism for criticizing Governor Ayade. Uh, I know it's not something that has to do with the indigenous people of Biafra, but like we said, we keep exposing all their evil in this contraption called Nigeria. Call on WhatsApp, hello. Hello? Yes, good morning from here. What's your name? Are you, are you calling Hello, me? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. You are the caller on WhatsApp. Yeah, my name is Chukweneka. I'm uh, from Abiyaka, number six. My name is Chukweneka. I'm from Abiyaka, number six. Go ahead. Where are you calling from? Oh, I want to beg our people in the to support this uh, program. Because every other day, I come out to a company and run my own way. Because me don't need to run my car, and I want to buy a vehicle. Because our 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 power is this radio Biafra. Our leader said we lost nothing to seventy twenty because we don't have the media. So as you can see, the lie is coming from Tony Adesina from Japan. Have you been that and buy radio Biafra? How we are people to make the truth? So having said that, my contribution this morning goes on two sides. Number one, uh, uh, for position from the east, people don't know why we are saying that. I will draw attention to section ten of nineteen ninety nine constitution. He said, the government of the federation or of the state. So I not adopt any religion as a state religion. This is 1999 constitution that they swore on oath to protect. Now, in 2003, it's later, introduced Sharia in Zanfara. Kano, Sufonet Suit, Itikedi, Jigawa, Sokoto, Niger, and all the rest of northern states. Then our southern leaders, including the section 10 of 1999 constitution. Now, uh, there was a, a, 
uh, and we completed the mosque under high tension at the uh, Rimbo town in Katakot. And uh, our governor, with the with the Patakot City uh, uh, Council, uh, you know, plans. Now, hey, what let me? Governor Shekara is coming. Was threatening war with uh, Junaid Mohammed and uh, and all the rest. But they have forgotten that. It's a lot of our people. When our people peace and wanted to protest in Kaduna, they are them. They are not churches. And our people will not say anything. That is the, 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 the anger of our theory. We are not coming to that fight with the government, but act. That's okay, I don't know where I'm on. That is why I don't, I dislike, uh, uh, I come down, skin to our land. Unless the government said WCD will come back, he said nothing about it. Now, preventing uh, our, our, our lawyer, they are also violating Section 40 of Okay. And associate with other persons, can and in particular, if they form or belong to any political party, trade union, or any other association for the protection of his interest. This is in violation of Section 40. Then they violate the other position. Okay. Special, including freedom to hold opinion and to receive and impact ideas and information without interference. So, what are we talking about? Now, am I still, am I still coming up here? Yeah, we can hear you now, but try and summarize. So, now... All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your contribution so far. Thank you so much for that contribution. So we have to go ahead. Uh, when you call us, please do not speak for more than three minutes. Please, so that others will also call because there are lots of callers. We also apologize um, for those who have been trying to reach us also and for those struggling to hear him as well. We have network issues. It's really disrupting the calls and we couldn't really grab everything he said. And that's why we call for your support. We want to have a stable internet. We want to ensure that we serve you better. So please do that. Um, let's work together. Let's, you know, put our hands on deck to achieve this goal. It's little. We can do it. We can do it with our collective efforts. Very, very important. So we solve it once and for all. Call us on WhatsApp. Call us on our phone line. We we'll have a call on the phone. Hello. Yeah, call on WhatsApp. Good morning from here. Good afternoon from here, and also my greeting. Yeah, my greeting goes to Pastor Chris Wise. With um, my greeting goes to him. you. Should know who is calling uh, before he migrated to Cambodia. Um, actually, you guys are trying. I like your program. In as much as there are some challenges that are coming, sometimes you people are not. Um, always um you know uh, punctual or to be on air but uh, we know what you guys are passing through and uh, by the help of chukuku Gabiam, we shall overcome that challenges you guys are facing well that's um what i want to say is um about uh, how the federal government of the zoo is lamenting um the, the activities of IPOP. Actually, what we are doing is really hitting them hard because uh, you could remember a few years ago when um, 
our leader when if we try on air I mean then don't if they are not putting about our news and and the BBC or the media they are not all paying what we are saying that to keep persisting do what we are doing see doing the right thing that at the end they shall talk about us this is exactly what is right now over the world now they are the people channel t everywhere all the hosts who be here any day they are newspapers any day they do not say anything about ipp they are not going to rest so that means they, uh, what we are doing is really penetrated and uh, they are now running helter skelters and be confused saying how are we financing ourselves try to know how ipo is being financed or what they are meant to make them to be so strong and resolute that's by the way secondly another thing i want to talk about is about the uh, um, uh, attack coming from Gandhiji to yeso care of river state governor you know so um the man from the oh, i don't know is it from Kano or or Zamfara, who is uh, trying to make himself more relevant, you know, attacking the Governor Yosef when he could the demolition of uh, uh, illegal structure, I will call it illegal structure, because that, as I heard and as I see, I saw that it is some completed building, and uh, uh, it's an illegal structure, actually. And then, he, our own person we call our own brother you know the problem we are having is is very generous you know it's not only one thing even religious have just subjugated us religious have just put us into a mess after the Kobo coming out um, and attacking our own brother where we are talking about what will benefit everyone you can imagine for our own after the Kobo coming out to attack ways so we can you know collaborating with the, the northern governor to say that uh, uh, he will fight and make sure that they declare war in Rivela State and that, all this kind of thing. But that reminds me, I could remember two states in in the north, either Zamfara or, or Boronu, whichever, I don't know. They yeah, that is uh, Sharia law. No Christian uh, can or whatever thing they call themselves attack them widely implement uh, uh, implement uh, Sharia law uh, uh, in, in the north you know such an attack did not come from the the uh, eastern region which is from Biafra land or the, the Christian association so why did we case case be a different thing altogether you know so my sister I um, I love to give chance for other people to talk and uh, I thank you people for what you guys are doing for Biafra and uh, keep on keeping on as our deputy you may always tell us and God will continue to guide you people. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for that contribution. That, uh, your opinion very, very important. Call us on WhatsApp, call us on our phone line at WhatsApp nine eight zero nine zero five. All right, we have a caller there already. Hello. What's an are you talking are you referring to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Good morning from here. Okay, good morning, Juan Angosi. I'm a Yeah. I don't want to waste some time. I think I'm going to check about my radio. Yes, uh, I, I, I just want to... What are you doing? Hello? We, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Hello? The talk is really poor. Yeah, hello. Go ahead oh, now. Okay. Okay, I just want to talk about the, uh, the sponsorship. Please, after the program, uh, you need to reach out to us. Oh, let the hard call. Let the hard call. I know they are hearing me now. Let the hard call see what they can do as regards to the sponsor. Uh, you, you give us uh, a kind of a proposal and let's see how much we can be able to raise for you people. Uh, we have heard about this sponsorship uh, for a very long time now. So. I think the thing just uh, come across, uh, come to my mind now. 
So maybe after the program, we talk either via message or all that. So that we'll All go right. to After the program, we, we we that? Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me grab your number right now so that I will uh, get back to you. You also try and get back to us after this program. We are going to get hold of your number right now uh, so that we will reach out to you immediately after the program. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Bless you too. All right, we have another caller there. Okay, call us on WhatsApp 0905-660-8583. Our WhatsApp number 0905-660-8583. We have a call on WhatsApp. Hello, call on WhatsApp. The more the demonish. I don't know if it's I don't know the reason why a governor should so that in which case should repair the month, illegal search while our people are killing in Kaduna Kano. Even the one that rented at the side of the most they killed the man because of the unrelated. Un while they're here in Aba, they're renting everywhere. Anywhere with their feet. Nobody killed them, nobody harassing them. That's why that they don't do that in this area. They don't need their fun. I am not happy when I hear such news going around in their fun land. They are here. Nobody harmed them. Nobody beating them. Ordinary unit and the key. Ordinary the illegal structure we can destroy. The, the governor lamented he was shooting to court. It's unacceptable. I don't like that rubbish. Only our hope is therefore. Only our hope. No, therefore. Anybody talking any other thing is left for him. What I know is therefore. Because it's only our, it's only our hope. Look at the man has to work from Sudan. Hidden in Japan. So, uh, uh, and the whole, world should, the whole world should know that IPOP, we are, only, we are the only one that said the truth. If the one is the board, let him come out and have one night there. They are hiding. The urban media and, and talking nonsense in media. So I want to tell you to continue Thank you. to let the world know the truth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, we'll continue to alert the world and uh, continue to ensure that Biafra is best up because that's the only solution. That's the only solution. It's really, you know, I'm, I'm always proud of Governor Wiki. I'm always proud of him, you know. Uh, our people are being killed every day and um, our governors are doing nothing. Just the demolition of uh, an illegal structure. The whole thing is, is shaking the whole of Nigeria. But it's really, you know, that shows that it is only Biafra that can save us. We have a call on WhatsApp. Hello. Good morning, Ma Ngozi, and uh, good morning, our brother and the studio. My name is Emma Zachukunle, and I'm calling from Italy, native of Oka Province, Biafra. You're welcome. Go ahead, please. One thing I want to say is uh, concerning this sort of uh, catch and beat those uh, deadly criminals of uh, Southeast and the South South uh, governor politicians. Anybody that is coordinating or is in charge of any state or any unit that uh, these people are visiting should be very, very prepared. Because I was, I had a heard a story that uh, somebody come and go, uh, you know, very, very painful. I'm so, so very unhappy to send that news. Everybody that uh, don't trust even uh, your intelligence, you yourself need to be because. If I set my time to go out by, 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 by the woke up 3 a.m., I will always wake up before then to check. I check 2 o'clock, I check 1 o'clock before even the, the time we reach. So, everybody that they give work to do, be very, very careful in this world because this is a very good idea that we take out you with the next level. Don't leave them to come and go and they're talking at us. 
That's another side. The brother, I'm not one is uh, looking and watching the videos of what is happening to our brothers in South Africa. I wonder what is happening. I wonder if our brothers don't use their brain. This kind of a thing is happening. If you have a way to escape, your life is very important. Leave that place and come back home. Go anywhere that you can be able to be saved. It's better for you to remain there than they will kill you. Nigeria will never entertain. They're even, they're even laughing at you. They are laughing at the Biafra and say, yes, let them kill them all. So when I was talking somebody in Taraba, I begin to see the movement of that man that is not working well. I entered Moto without his notice and come back home. Today I'm alive, healthy and strong. That's what I would, I would advise our people to do. Don't remain there until you die. I want to drop the call here. Let us go the person come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your contribution. Of course, by tomorrow we really look into what is going on in South Africa. It's really important. Very, very important. We we'll look at that. Um, our people are dying, and then, but it's really, really uh, pathetic that yet someone can stick about and say, "I am still proud to be a Nigerian." Hello, caller, WhatsApp. Hello, my sister. Yeah, good morning from here. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, my name is Moyo Chinduma Ganeku. Okay. We call me Lowan Nanimo. Am I coming out today, my sister? We, we can hear you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, you have to call back. Like I said before, do not call us and start asking, are you coming out clear? We hear you, and if we cannot hear you, we'll say to you, we cannot hear you. Please. All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello. My name is Ben Okule. You're I'm coming from Abba. So I want to talk about the brain as well. Okay, please do and that. Travel so to Japan. So from that time, the zoo, the call on the phone. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Chuku Emmanuel. Okay. Are you hearing me? We can hear you go ahead. Okay. I want to talk about Governor Wilke okay. and the way the outside people are responding seriously. I want to make it very clear. Governor Wilke has a the position of that uncompleted house, the call mosque. But let me put it very clear. How many churches Governor Erufai has destroyed in Abuja during the time he was in Abuja? Which one of those churches that are so-called Christian, so-called can make any comment for Eru five destroying the churches. I cannot understand what is happening in this useless country called Nigeria. Anything made these people will take it to a higher level. The way these people are responding the uncomplete uh, building is wonderful. But the so-called Christians, they will run inside their house. They cannot make any comment. They will be destroyed. The churches, nobody will open his mouth to say anything. Anyway, let us watch and see what is going to happen. Anything that Nigeria will like to do to stop our people, to demonstrate they are, they are, what is happening in outside Nigeria. I think whatever they are doing is a waste of time. Because that is the problem we have in Nigeria. 
the people they say they are uh, politicians here, when they enter inside, they will carry the whole money, they will continue going to abroad to see how the country is developed. They come back here, their children will be outside, going to school, there will be no hospital functioning in Nigeria. When they have headache, they will run to America, they will run to British everywhere. And the people are here, we just staying without hope. I'm happy for the 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 the, the, the people are people are taking now, comforting them outside, so that they will know what they are doing is wrong. Thank you very much. Let me allow another person to talk. All right, thank well, you. Hello, call on the phone. Hello, call on the phone. Uh, uh, What's I thank you very much with your uh, uh, partner in analysis in the studio. Thank you so much. My name is Mazin Dibuazede, speaking from Aba right now. I want to pass information to their fans all over the world because what is going on is being caused by our own people. Could you imagine that Pakasi, Pakasi in Aba today are hunting the Aosa Aosa broads in Bakasa broad are hunting after their own people in Naba, killing our people, killing our people in Naba. I don't know what is happening. The people we should face today is the Bakasi people in Naba. We are no longer being intimidated by police or army in Naba. The people that is oppressing us today is Bakasi boys in Naba, intimidating our people, killing our people secretly. So the world, the, 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 uh, anyhow, on the street in our, in our back, hello, my hello, brothers, uh, my let us wake up and go after our enemies because hello, they are Mas taking to themselves. Can and you hear me? You're not listening. Hello. The hello? Yeah. When did Bakasi return to Aba? Hello? So what is going on? I'm not happy. What is going on? I'm not happy. All right, thank, it you so happening. thank you so much. I'm not happy. Thank you so much. We've heard you. It's, uh, Hello? It's unfortunate that when you call, you don't even listen to us. You just talk your own. Most times we want to ask questions to get information. You know, I've not been hearing about Bakasi. I needed course, to know uh, when yeah. did it start and uh, who are these people? All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello? Yes, uh, good morning, and um, Mazi on you go and David. Good morning to the front all over the world. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Mazi. I'm calling from New Delhi in India. Uh, my contribution before I say anything, let our people living all over the world, people in uh, Nigeria and people in Biafra, let us keep on uh, supporting this uh, program. Let us keep on put the hand in our pocket and see what we can do to make sure this is media tower. That is our TV. Keep on running. If possible, let us open another TV, evening TV. It will help. Not keeping money in our account or yeah, doing we, something we that we cannot help. We actually have plans for evening programs, the, but limited resources is a problem. We are always here. We are going nowhere. We've dedicated our life yeah. for this. So if really our people can rise up, we are here morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, so we actually have plans for that but resources are limited that's why we are still struggling to sustain the morning program thank you so much yes uh, yes if possible every country can do launching on this money will flow every year same people do let us do launching in every every country do launching money will flow every year i believe in Biafra. let us get our freedom and at the same time i want to say to our leaders we have seen uh, the Nigeria government are searching, writing out the whole embassies. It is our own duty to write us or to expose them more, to ask uh, people in Germany what we want. Let us not sleep. I know our leaders are not sleeping. Once they make one step, we have to make uh, about four or five steps. Well, we have to cry more than them. Since they are crying now, let us cry more than them. And uh, our governors and our leaders in, um, in Biafra land, they have made them uh, much mistakes and most of them, once they call to you or once you call them personal, they will tell you that they have made them much a mistake. Because these people, they think that uh, being in office or having any office is their family business. But now, they start to, to, to waking up. Many of them who called me here said um, 
hope when they come to India will not be them. I say to them, many people are here are working hard. Even us that who come to India, our members need to ask that here. We shake hands with us that we collect his number, but we cannot do anything with him due, due to his also fight now we are fighting. So many of them, I ask them here in India, if we kill any black man here, he will only be jailed in six months. Nothing, nothing will happen to that person. If we would not keep person, it is better than clean person. So let our people who be in high office in Nigeria government, let them know masses are dying. You are in Abuja, no free hospital. You are in Abuja, not, not here in India. A governor vote here for five years. A man promised to give us a 50% discount in electric. Once he entered, he did it. Now we have voted him again. The man promised to, from now, foreigner for, and the indigenous of India here in New Delhi, we don't have to pay any electric bill again. The man gave you about 200 units. From 200 units down, you cannot pay any money in a big pill. That's, that's a free hospital everywhere here in India. Nobody's going abroad. The same place they treat uh, Nigeria free, the same place they treat the Indian leaders. So that's what we want in our country, Biafra. If you don't support us, stay clear. All we want is Biafra, nothing more. Because I have been in many countries. I have not seen a place like Nigeria. Even though our people who live in Europe, don't think, even though you go to Nigeria with 100 million, that money cannot reach you to do anything. If you do the house, nobody will pay your house, but there's no job. So let us help to get this Biafra. All we need is Biafra, not more. And if you're living in any country without that you will be that one. Thank you, my sister. Keep on doing thank a good you. job. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I, I want to correct an impression. You know, he said he talked about launching. We are not calling for launching, rather we are calling for free will donation, whatever you can donate uh, freely from your mind, it's welcome. We are not asking for any launching. Hello, call on the phone. Hello? Yeah, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead. I'm not hearing you very clearly because the way... Hello? All right, yeah, call on the phone. Hello? Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Marzi Chima Joseph. I'm calling from Ebola. In the daily local government, Mr. Kassar, the only thing is the Okay. So I hope I'm coming out clear. We can hear you, please. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. Yes, uh, good morning, lovers of freedom, wherever I am. Um, my my contribution this morning is. As we are seeing what is happening in the zoo called Nigeria, especially I'm going to go to the zoo. 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 I'm going to my enough women and Chinese, and then I had they are not there to save us, rather they are there to sell us. Go for the no for the mother our paria. You know, I'm not worried even in my life, you don't look out of me. And half of Nahor as a member of forest guard, but now Safalani. Because of the so called trailer park, I don't know where about Alhaji, so I don't know where about Alhaji was. Where is the trailer park? ndausalinaro <laughs> Bakalero fire fire 
something that they are not there to save us. But, uh, I thank God for all the man and the can who have come to rescue us. So I like to sign off from them. I remember a humble summer man which was just in age group. So goodbye, all the lovers of freedom. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You know, you, you heard what he said, the, the so-called forest guys mm. are even outside of Poland. Mm. It's, it's really people killing us. The same people killing us are the same people employed to guard you. All right, call on WhatsApp. Hello. Call on the phone. Hello. Yeah. From here. Yes. My name is Tukwe Mana. Okay. You're welcome to the program. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what I want to say. Okay. Uh, your device will have another call. As I said before. Sorry, I'll take your call. Hello, call on the phone. Hello. What's the name and where are you calling from? Very difficult call. Call on the phone. Are you? There? Yes. My name is Chukwu Manu. Go ahead. Yes. I to talk about. The governors of South East. Now they have made a statement about the headsmen to prevent them going all corners with AK-47. This comment or statement they made is okay. But let us watch out. Already, the slave masters in the north have warned them not to take that step. Let us, the battle has been drawn. Let us watch what is going to happen. Because they have continued making a hard statement because of the comments of the governor. It is very clear that Nigeria is not a country that anybody will hope of living into. The Sudanese has taken Nigeria as their proper, their personal property that whoever they want, they give. Until our people understand what is Nigeria, they have made it very clear on tape on 12th October 1960 by Ahmad Bello. It is very, really, very clear. If you hear this tape and you remain Nigeria, or Mrs. Susore, they made it very clear that they will not allow to change the government. And that's what they are doing in tomorrow. They say they are going to use middlemen as the right input. And that is what they are doing tomorrow. They say that South South is going to be a uh, they will not allow them to pull over them. That was it. They said they will not allow them to even move that, that to control their, their future. And that, that is what they are doing. Last 4th October 1953 today. And somebody somewhere has been hoping that he is here. However, I'm happy that Chukwuk Kabiyama has been adding trouble day by day to Nigeria. Their trouble are increasing day by day that they can never, never survive. If you are careful watching the news, you understand that Nigeria has gone. What is happening now is just a waste of time. Nigeria has a spy. And since it has had five, up till now, people are still waiting. I'm sorry for those people who are still waiting for Nigeria that are dead. I support my people. 
I to call the leader of the Kano for what they have saw for over five years, and they have been talking to people to let them know what is coming to them. And some of them are sleeping. Thank you, my brothers and sisters who see the who see the future. Biafra. Biafra. Thank you. All right, we have another caller there. Hello. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Call on the phone. Call on WhatsApp. Hello. Okay. Ngozi Chukuka. I'm Victor. God bless you. I am your brother, Mazi Ekuke from Omaya province, but coming from Igwacha province. Please, I want us to understand something. You should observe that, that the, Niger the, the zoo illegitimate government is now crying more than the believed. Now, instead of us to cry on what they are doing to us, they are not crying. So, we, like one of our brothers said, as they are going one step, we should go more than seven steps ahead of them to alert all these international... See, even our, our barrister, wonderful barrister, if I are based on the, the analysis the people gave this, uh, gave this morning, so we should write to the international community so that his rights as a, as a human being will not be trampled. But we know that Nigeria is not a country since zoo. They are manifesting that they are zoo in all ramifications. And also we should use this opportunity to show the, because what 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 the zoo what the zoo is doing, what Nigeria is doing now is they don't want to because we have we have nailed hit the nail on the head. The world have known that the person mounting the, the leadership of, of Nigeria called Zoo is an impostor. And yet the world, the, uh, London, Britain use, use Obama when Obama was uh, the president of America to unseat Gaddafi, who is immediately elected. We did know what uh, happened to the Indian men of Uganda and uh, Mugabe of Zimbabwe. How much more now we have an impostor? So our, our leadership should focus on this. This this uh, Japanese J Japan movement we should not relegate it to the background. It's a it's a natural weapon God has given us to bring down Nigeria and cause zoo. So we should work on that so that we are not going to we are not saying we are fighting Nigeria. We are going to unseat an impostor. Illegitimate this is an illegitimate government. So the, our leadership should make the international community, the whole world, the countries of the world to know that the government run in Nigeria is illegitimate government because the person is from is not a, a citizen of Nigeria, is from Sudan. Since we can prove it, we will now make use of all the resources we have. We mark our pressure on that. Because what the Yohanese and the Igbo governors and the whatever governors are doing, they want to distract us. We have to focus on this. So that we see, while we are sitting that imposter in Asrock, all his accomplices, all his people, all the people governing both in Biafra land, uh, Arawa land and Mududu land, all of them will be handled effectively. So it will be a shortcut to remove all these people. Eradicate them out of the way and the rest of Biafra. It's a short old mess. God bless the land of Biafra. And I don't like to this. Now they are calling like one of our brothers said, they, they are calling him in India doing this. They want to rapport now. Our people should not should not allow ourselves out to be compromised, whether they are calling you or not. You say to that when you push somebody to the wall, he has no way to go back again. If these governors have their means now, have any other thing to do, they will do. It's just because they don't have any other They have they have exhausted their, their strategy and their prayer. That is why they want to do as if they are doing anything. So we should not be distracted. We should not we should not you know be carried away with all these things they are doing. Let us be focused on the South Africa. And this Japanese movement is an opportunity. God bless the land of Biafra. In the name of our Lord, Yahweh shall be blessed. He say, he say, he say. All right, we have a call on Facebook, and you are going to be our last caller for today. Hello. Our name is Joe. Call on Skype. Hello. Hello, Madam. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning from here. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Yeah, thank you, my sister. My name is Chukwuma Kwabozam, calling from Italy. I thank you, Mazo, on you. I think so. 
and the uh, Elvis. Thank you. Um, I commend you do a job on daily basis. It's not easy. Elohim Gabon Ume. Uh, what I'd like to say you. concerning the governors, what you read this morning concerning, they are, they are worried. They know that there are no more people. That is why Ike Fremado went and rent some people to come and they welcome him. Welcome him, otherwise, he has been the governor uh, uh, who welcomed him from Abuja to, uh, to Enugu. Who, has he called anybody to welcome him? He know, they know very, quite very well that people have rejected them. So, but what I want to say that is very, very important. We want to establish this case concerning Nigeria and the Biafra in a foreign world, in foreign land. So we want to establish case probably. So we want to beat some of these people that come here. And uh, in view of that, we, we must establish case on that behalf because beating them here, they will take us to court and we tell the court that they, um, we tell the court that um, why we beat them is because they kill our brothers and we have their pictures and the, the videos, evidence, especially the governors. I am very, very disappointed about Ibazo. Uh, uh, I heard that he went to America. It's a place where law is respected, where they also deal with him very well in adequate manner so that the matter will go to court. Because when they beat uh, 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 somebody in Europe or in America, it's between you and those people, not Nigerian government, between you and that uh, governor who go to court. And they will ask us, what is the problem? I said, this is my reason of beating this man. And the, the matter will be investigated in Nigeria. And uh, the case, whether he kills somebody or not, if he want the matter to come, he uh, will come to America for the case. Uh, we will transfer the matter to... This is international protocol that any place you commit crime, you will be sentenced in that place. We don't want to go to prison in Europe or in America for this for this reason. So we are waiting for them. We want to establish case between we and them, and we must establish that as long as they are coming here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, and have a nice day. And you too. Thank you so much for that. All right, we'll be drawing the curtain here for today. Uh, before we go, Mazi Elvis, what message do you have for our viewers? Yeah, um, first of all, before I go straight to some and a half for the viewers, um, I want the, the technical view and the engineer departments of um, IPOB radio and television um, broadcast on air to check properly. You, um, the IP, I mean, the, the, the Facebook has a kind of, uh, they are playing for me. You cannot share our uh, broadcast to any other platform and what they are saying is that the content goes against the community blah 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 this so please i want us to check uh, check it right now they restricted most of our streaming only for the members and uh, it's not going viral it's no longer trending so please i want you to check it right now and um, do the needful uh dear friends um what i have to say is that uh, we have to remain resolute formidable and uh, abide by the law of um, uh, command and control but in the vein of using the command and control you shouldn't maybe you see yourself as one of the leadership or whatever you shouldn't use it to molest some uh, little ones and uh, at the end therefore will come if we walk as we're working in unity and the unison therefore will be restored now we are the talk of the international communities and we are the, the main that kind of um, the nightmare of the zoo and we should keep the the, the fire burning so thank you very much i stand out here my name is uh, mas the always on what you work and i'm saying thank you and goodbye goodbye thank you all right so um as if Victor, Okay, well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mada and Gozi, for uh, that. Um, the simple message I have for Bia France and all of us of freedom out there is for uh, all of you, both of you in the diaspora and uh, back home here, is to be tenacious and also don't capitulate in this very struggle. Keep your eyes on the ball. We are almost at the uh, saturation points where we are going to score the goal, and uh, this time around, it, 
all hands need to be on deck like as i keep telling you don't think of what ipob will do for you but think of what you can do for ipob think of what you can do for your motherland and the time for that is now like this very department is a very wonderful and also most impactful department that we don't have to allow it to go go, go i mean go down just like that we we'll have to come together to see what we can do put us together to fix this place and make it to be more efficient and effective more than the zoo media because if the zoo media can be working effectively then i don't see no reason why our own department should be allowed to go into this kind of mess and also i want to encourage all of you uh, out there for your support your moral support and all the encouragement so far i want you to keep it going now that the, uh, the the chicken has finally come to roost and the people are crying more than they believed the the, the the tears will remain in their eyes forever the governors and all the people that brought pains in our hearts this is the time for them to receive their own pain and their own pain will not stop so i want to encourage you to keep watching government television and keep supporting government television until i come your way same time same station my name is Silman Masi, victor oido stay tuned and uh, bye for now thank, thank you, you very so much, much. Uh, thank you. all right have you was out there thank you for joining us and do join us again same time same station tomorrow from our view uh, from our crew members here in the studio we say to you do have a nice day a wonderful night